All right, we're going to watch Catherine's breaststroke here from above the water from the side. Catherine, so as we start into that stroke, we really like how early you're getting that head up. You can see that your head is coming up. Your shoulders are nice and high in that water. Here's where the water line is. Your eyes are looking exactly where you need them to look. Okay, we always want to try to keep that head right in line with your spine, and you do a great job of that. As you start to get that head down into your stroke, you really finished out your hands long. Just make sure those legs come all the way together before you start the next pull. You can kind of see that your hands were just a little bit early on that first pull after that kick. Make sure that his feet come together. Again, good job of breathing early. Your hands are right underneath your chin. That's right where I'd like to see your hands stay. Okay, I'm, I'm good with you keeping a little bit above the water um, as far as right near the surface. We don't want to see you coming above the water, but right near the surface, just like you're doing there. Head position is getting down into your stroke so perfectly. Legs, good, together. Hands, again, just started that pull, so it's not too bad. Um, but I do think it's one of those things that if we work on and we can finish that breaststroke just a little bit better, your breaststroke is going to continue to improve. And right now, your breaststroke has just gotten faster and stronger. Your progress this past just few months has been amazing. As you get into the wall here, we like how you're finished. Make sure you don't pull up above the water. You can kind of see... Right here, as you're hitting that wall, you can kind of see that you're pulling yourself in, right? So right here, when your hands are fully outstretched, what we'd like to see you do is actually stack those feet and start to drive your knees in better. Instead, you kind of pull yourself in and then up above that water. Your head position is looking in the right direction. Get it down here a little bit more, but your head position is in the right direction where you're looking. Good job of bending that elbow off that wall. I mean, you keep your hand close to your body, so that's fantastic. Good job of getting that head, that hand right behind your ear, but you got to lock in that streamline. We can even see here that your head is definitely above that streamline because we can see a little bit more blue water in between your arms than we should be able to. So if you get your arms locked right behind your ears, that breaststroke streamline is going to be even better. Not much of an underwater dolphin kick with that pull, okay? But here, here we are with our first stroke of breaststroke, and you're breaking that head up right away. That's fantastic. Here's where the flags are. So you're almost a good body length and a half past those flags in that first stroke, which is fantastic. You do a great job of holding the three seconds. Remember, after the pull, it's just about a two-second glide and then a one-second glide with the kick. As you get into your first stroke breaststroke here, that's great. You're able to get in and race right away, Catherine. Keep it up.